Did I say I wanted something different? Sure did. <laughs> well, that was answered. Check out these Pumas. I wore these in King of Prussia Mall in Pennsylvania. And I mean, that mall, I thought I was going to hurt someone's eyeballs. They were popping out left and right. <laughs> I'm already 6'4", and I walk in with these three-inch stacks. Uh, people were losing it. But, um, yeah, this is a Puma. My last Puma. Well, my last Puma by Rihanna. It happens to be um, Fenty Rihanna Puma. This one just says Puma by Rihanna. But, um, yeah, this thing is in my size. Absolutely unique. As I've said a million times on these shows, that means it's sold. This is an episode of Watch and Shoes. Watch and Shoes. This watch is the Invicta Tourbillon. So you got the Tourbillon with various types of metal inside. Traditional Tourbillon spinning around. Invicta Reserve Quality. Rose Gold Bezel. Functioning Bezel. Gunmetal, I believe. Steel. Stainless steel. And then just an exotic leather strap. Don't know what animal that came from. <laughs> and a Puma shoe. Talk about feeling monstrous. No one actually said anything, and I don't blame them. I'd be fr afraid to say something to somebody walking around with these on. But, um, yeah, just a monstrous shoe. The only shoe I own or has have ever even heard of that has satin in the construction. A men's shoe with satin in the construction. It's just completely unheard of. So you've got this huge tongue. Everything on the shoe is huge. You have breathing, functioning, not just for looks. You can see on the inside. Breathing, functioning. Holes here with a screen on them. Not just for looks, actual stitching going around the entire shoe. Not not the rubber fake stitching that I showed on the Timberland, but genuine real stitching. Very hard material here. I'm not sure what that is. Some form of plastic, I believe. And it's protecting leather underneath it. All real stitching. So as funny as this shoe looks... If you comprehend stitching, and I took a couple home ec classes when I was a child, so I understand the complications of stitching, and I respect them, you got to respect the quality of stitching that took place in this shoe. So we got a nice leather pull tab here for the heel. Just a bizarre, monstrous well-stitched, well-crafted, well-engineered shoe. You can use the lacing system here, or you can incorporate this zip-up feature, which I do, because, as I've said a million times, I don't do laces. <laughs> so give me an option to get out of the laces, and I take it every time. Monstrous boot. This is, I think, going on a year old now. I think I got this last winter. Um, holding up like a, a machine. A satin, comfortable, luxurious, plush. I mean, huge amounts of padding going on in this shoe. I think every guy needs a shoe like this. Every guy should have a shoe like this. It's like, you can be drenched in comfort. There's nothing wrong with being drenched in comfort. And that's what I feel like I'm doing when I slide my foot into this enormously padded shoe. And then look down at these exotic materials that I've never seen on any men's shoe. I don't care how high end or how cheap. I've ne ever seen these types of materials used on a guy's shoe. 
So as as crazy as it looks to you, it looked crazy to me. And then being crazy already, after looking into the details, I had to respect the shoe. I'm like, this is a this isn't a gimmick. This is actually a very well made, very well designed, very well thought out, very well crafted monstrosity of luxury. Uh, luxurious boot slash tennis shoe slash high top, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. But uh, I got to respect it. It was well made. So far, so great as far as standing, lasting the test of time. Hasn't really aged since I got it. So I hope to get a whole lot of years out of that. I love showing up in this shoe. And I mean, I love the reaction. I like watching people's faces when they just can't look down, look up. They they keep staring down at the ground like I what what's going on? I, I don't understand. Is this is this a, is what? Uh, yeah, I love that. <laughs> so uh, you'll get it with that shoe. Thank you, Rihanna. Thank you, Puma. That's an awesome boot. This is another episode of Watch and Shoes. Watching shoes. I hope you enjoyed it.